For problem number 14, just like number 12, we're asked to find vertex, axis of symmetry, max, min, and range. So if you want more detail on how to do number 14, watch the, the video I made for number 12. It gives a little bit more background as to why we're doing certain things. Like, for example, if we want to find our axis of symmetry, we're going to find first negative b over 2a, where in this case here, for this parabola, the a is 2 and the b is negative 6. So when we replace b with negative 6 and a with 2, we get negative negative 6. So the opposite of negative 6 is positive 6. 2 times 2 is 4. 6, to over, six over 4 can be reduced to 3 halves. So that's the x-coordinate of the vertex. In fact, that's also the axis of symmetry. The equation for the axis of symmetry is x equals 3 halves. So that's the first part. Now, if we want to, we can go ahead and draw the graph. x equals negative 3 halves. So we'll go ahead and plot that. There's negative 1, negative 2. Or we could just plot negative 3 halves, negative 1 and a half. And x equals that value. x equals negative 3 halves is our axis of symmetry. So our vertex is on that vertical line. How do we find the y-coordinate of the vertex? Well, finding the y-coordinate of the vertex means uh, y, y of, sorry, let me write that here, y of 3 halves means that we're going to replace x with 3 halves. Replacing x with 3 halves, we already have negative feelings towards this because we're going to be having to figure out fractions. Uh, 6 over 1 times 3 halves. The 2 goes into the 6 3 times, so we get 9. Uh, probably should have kept that as 18 halves because I'm going to have to write it like that anyway. Uh, plus 3 and uh, 2 goes into 4 2 times, so 9 halves. Again, minus, I should have left that alone. Minus 18 halves because I have to get a common denominator if I'm going to add fractions. Plus Instead of writing it as 3, let's get also a denominator of 2. So multiplying top and bottom by 2, we rewrite 3 as 6 halves. So now that we have a common denominator, we can just combine the numerators. 9 minus 18 plus 6 all over 2. And 9 minus 18 is negative 9. Negative 9 plus 6 all over 2 is negative 3 over 2. So the vertex is at negative 3 halves, negative 3 halves. And so we're just going to go ahead and plot negative 3 halves right down there. The parabola opens up because the a is 2. And so we open it up, and it's going to be a little bit more narrow than normal. I'm not saying that the, that the x-intercepts are negative 2 and negative 1. I'm just drawing it and not worrying about the x-intercepts for right now. But we do need to worry about, well, uh, first of all, let's go ahead and write down label the vertex. Negative 3 halves, negative 3 halves. We're also trying to find the max. There's no max because, again, just like number 12, the parabola opens up and it goes up forever. But the minimum value is the lowest y value. And we can see here the lowest y value is negative 3 over 2, which then allows us to identify the range. The range being the lowest y value, including negative, uh, including that lowest y value of negative 3 halves, and all the way up through infinity. All the y values that are used to graph the function is what we call the range, the lowest y value to the highest y value, and all the real numbers in between. And I think that's it. Yeah, max, min, range, axis of symmetry, we got that, and we got the vertex. So that's it for number 14.